Are old beliefs holding you back from developing your conversational English skills? If so, keep watching to learn the top four limiting beliefs to learning a language and how to bust them so you can reach your English speaking goals faster. Hey everyone, it's English coach Sandra from Snappy Talks for High Performers. I talked about this in my last video. I've been using modern learning techniques with my students for nearly four years. But in all that time, I've noticed something that really troubles me. For every one student that starts using modern learning techniques and makes great progress, there are 10 more potential learners who say they want to improve their conversational English skills, but they never sign up or take the first step in learning modern learning techniques. And at first, I just didn't understand why. But then I realized it was rules or old bullshit beliefs that were keeping people from their dreams. So in this video, I'm going to bust those top four rules to free everyone from those limiting beliefs, which allow you to make real progress towards your conversational English goals. But before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to show your support for this channel. And it'll help ensure that I can keep making videos designed to help you reach your English speaking goals faster. Plus, like in every video, I'm going to share a ton of information with you today. But don't worry about trying to listen and write it all down. I'm going to put the transcript, vocabulary list, learning experiment details, links, and any additional information on my resource page. And I'll give you that link at the end of this episode. So let's get started with some brule busting. According to Vision Lakani, a brule is a bullshit rule our brain uses every day to make decisions. And you can check all of those details out in the previous video I did on brules. But basically, Vision says that to eliminate a brule, the first step to doing that is to realize that you have it. Hmm. So here's the top four rules for learning a language and see how many of them you have. Rule number one, learning a foreign language requires a special talent. This is likely one of the most common rules for people who have been taking language classes with limited success. This rule also has several sub rules to it, like I just don't think like that, or, oh, I'm not smart enough. Often, these beliefs occur as traditional rote memorization techniques can be very slow to encode new information, leaving the student feeling very overwhelmed and frustrated, especially when they see someone else making progress so much faster. But the truth is, is there is no special talent to learning a language. It's simply a matter of finding a learning method that works for you and spending time practicing. Like any new skill, you need to learn the foundation and then build on your skill. Think about it like the first time you learned to tie your shoe. You were awkward. You were uncoordinated. You just couldn't do it. But with coaching and practice, you develop the skill to loosely tie it. You didn't have a special talent to tie your shoe. You just learned the skill. And soon, with more practice, you were able to tie it without thinking about it and while you were doing other things. Rule number two, children are better at learning languages. You hear this one all the time, and it's closely related to, I'm too old to learn. Well, it is true that there is a short period of time in childhood when the child's brain more easily absorbs information. The real difference is that the child's mind just hasn't created rules yet. And so that's what allows it to absorb more information quickly. However, modern brain research has discovered that the one factor that actually affects the rate of learning is our brain's ability to rewire itself. It was long thought that our brains lose this ability as we get older, but great news. Studies have now disproven this, meaning that older brains can change and learn the same as a child's brain. Plus the superpower to learning that adults have over children is it's their ability to think about their thinking. More precisely, this refers to our ability to plan, monitor, and assess your understanding and performance. I'll talk about this more in an upcoming video, but for right now, just be really excited. This is great news. Rule number three. It's a must that you study grammar. This is a long-held rule, especially here in Thailand. Let's spend a minute and go deep into this one. In many non-English speaking countries like Thailand, 
English language teaching has been offered in schools for more than a century. And over those years, the general teaching curriculum has been changed and developed. However, one thing has remained unchanged. Early on, one of the biggest challenges to teaching English in a non-English speaking country was that schools just didn't have enough teachers who spoke English. So to address this challenge, historically, the English curriculum was based on reading, writing, and grammar, as these skills could more easily be measured and tested without many English-speaking teachers. And this is the fundamental challenge with learning English in a non-English-speaking country. You start your language learning by holding and memorizing congregation charts in your head with the goal to become perfect at grammar. And while we're at it, let's bust another rule that's created by this system. The truth is that to improve your English, you do not have to remember all the grammar rules, including their official names. In fact, all the polyglots that I've researched believe that to learn to speak a language, you have to learn grammar organically. And that's by mimicking what you hear, not by following a grammar rule that you've learned. Well, there is quite a bit of research now that shows trying to study grammar theory in the early stages of your language learning can even slow you down. So if you want to learn like a polyglot, bust this rule so you can focus on the vocal sounds rather than the theory studying. And then rule number four, pronunciation is a bonus skill you should save until the end. Pronunciation is one of the keys to conversations. Who cares if you can read and spell every word? If you can't pronounce those words, the language is useless to you in conversation. Speech is nothing more than a string of sounds that we make with our mouth. So if pronunciation is making the right sound with your mouth, then pronunciation can't be a bonus skill. It's the foundation of speaking the language. This means that if there is a sound you're having trouble with, it'll have a big effect on your ability to speak. And whenever a word gets stuck in your mouth, it makes you self-conscious. And that self-consciousness makes you feel stress. And then you mess up even more words, creating a really vicious cycle. So focusing on your pronunciation skills as part of your ongoing practice, especially word endings and multiple syllable words, don't wait until you have increased your vocabulary or mastered your sentence structure or improved your listening skills or anything else, bust this rule and start working on your pronunciation right now. Okay, that's the top four rules. I've added the transcript, vocabulary list, and other resources at mylearningexperiment.com. So be sure to check that out. But you might be saying, sure, Sandra, this is really interesting, but how is it going to help me learn English? Well, the first step to becoming the person you need to be to improve your conversational skills is to remove these limiting beliefs that are holding you back, which leads us to our first learning experiment. We've busted the top four rules to learning English, but there's still so many more related to learning a foreign language. So your learning experiment is to spend a few minutes and identify any rules that you believe you have that are holding you back from learning English. I want you to review the whole list and think about these questions. Which of the top four rules do you believe? And are there other learning rules you have? Make sure to write them down so you can really focus on them one at a time. And step two is to really reflect on each of these beliefs. I want you to think about where did they come from? Who or where did you learn this rule? How does it or did it serve you if it's already one that you busted? And is it helping you achieve your goals or is it holding you back? And finally, who would you become if you changed this belief? And feel free to share your answers in the chat below. It's a great way to bust your own rules and support others with theirs. And until next time, happy learning. Bye-bye now.